Hey guys, it's X Dragon Force 101 here, and today we're going to be S off and rooting a HTC Desire S. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to access our HBoot menu and we're going to see whether we are in H um, HBoot 0.9.8.2 or 0.9.8.0. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go into settings, power, and disable fast boot. I'm just going to turn off. Wait a few seconds while your phone turns off. So yeah, just a reminder, this only works on HTC Desire S's. Blah. Oh, and I'm making this video to the request of one of my commenters who asked if I said I'd be a legend if I made one of these. So, here it goes. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the volume button. And you're going to hold down the power button. And you should present it with a white flashing screen. It's going to be... Right, so what you're going to do is you're not going to pay attention to anything at the bottom. You're just going to look at the top. I'm already S off. So what it says is Alpha Rev, um, Saga PVT Ship, S off RL. So what what you're probably going to see is you're going to see this without the Alpha Rev bar. And it's going to say S on. So if you've got that, what we need to do first is we're going to need to S off. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to... Just gonna go into recovery so I can turn back on. So what we're gonna do is on your computer is you're gonna head over to revolutionary.io. I'll have a link in the description. What you're gonna do is um, check what what you want is either a download for Linux or a download for Windows. Obviously we're on Windows, so you're gonna hit that. If you want to do it on Linux, um, it doesn't um, need as much drivers. Um, so I do recommend doing it on Linux if you want. I'll have a link to the Ubuntu page. You can download an Ubuntu Live CD to run that. But if you want Linux, Windows, what you're first going to have to do is you're first going to have to download ADB, which is developer.google.com slash ADB. I'll have a link to that. You're also going to need to install HTC Sync. But before rooting, you're going to need to uninstall HTC Sync. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're just going to click my thing and download for Windows, if that's you, or download for Linux. Pop that up and download. You should get another form here and it should say beta key. Once that's loaded up, you're going to choose what you're on. We're on Windows and our device is the HTC Desire S. So, so far, the type of speaking um, devices supported are HTC Desire, Desire CDMA, Wildfire, Area Incredible S, Droid Incredible 2, Desire S, View, Fly, or Sensation, and Evo 3D. So, as long as you're on that, you're going to go there. And also, when you're in the HBoot menu, you're gonna make you're gonna choose the HBoot that you had. It should have either been 0 0.98, 0 0.98.000, or 0.98.222. So we're gonna choose that. Sorry, no, we're gonna choose the first one. I'm being an idiot. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna minimize this, and you're gonna run Revolutionary. So you're gonna get your phone. What? So I unlock it, and then we're going to plug in. And we mount it as charge only. Then what you should get, is you should get a little box that says serial number. I'm already us off, so Revolutionary is trying to give me a big error. You're an idiot, aborting. But what you will get is you will get a little screen asking you, um, um, yeah, it'll say your HBIT number and then it'll just have blank and you'll be like screwed there. So what you're going to do then is you're going to go up to the top of your CMD window, right click and select edit and mark. You're going to select the serial key which is a long number after it says serial key and then you're just going to right click, oh, sorry, then you're going to go into right click, edit, and mark, right click, edit and copy that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Revolution Euro Isle, going to paste in your serial number, and you're going to hit Generate Key. Then, once you get that key, it will give you it, and then what you're going to do is you're going to copy that, and then you're going to right click, edit, and paste. And then press Enter, and Revolutionary will S off your device. Okay, so once we're left off, we S off, we want to get rooted obviously. So rooting is definitely one of the best things you can do on an Android device aside from installing custom ROMs. So what we're just going to do is we're going to disconnect. And what we're going to do, we'll just turn on my Wi-Fi. 
and we're going to head over to XDA Developers. If I can find it. Oh yeah, just what you're going to do is just going to Google. Take going to Google and type Ginger. Spell it right. Ginger break. All one word. Then you're going to tap on the first one, which should be an XDA developer's result. If not, then double check that. Then you're going to scroll down to the bottom. Oops. <laughs> Sorry guys, extremely slow internet connection over here. Waiting, and here we go. So once it's loaded up, just going to scroll down to the bottom. And it should have a little box here. And it should say Ginger Break. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the newest one. Where is it? Aha! I'm going to download the newest one. Which at the time of speaking is version 1.20. If version 1.20 doesn't work for you, you can just download the previous versions. Because sometimes they have bugs. You tap on that, download. After you've downloaded it, just get like a file manager like Astro. And navigate to... Mount SD card download. <laughs> I have a lot of downloads. And then you're going to choose your Gingerbreak app. Gingerbreak v1.20. You can tap it. You're going to open an app manager. You're going to tap install. Then what you're going to do? Tap open. And if you're already rooted, which I am, just gonna allow Gingerbreak to do its stuff. So what you're gonna do is we're doing Gingerbreak. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to Settings, Applications, Development, and make sure USB debugging is ticked. Then we're gonna head back over to Gingerbreak. And we're gonna select Root Device root device and wait while it roots your Android. So guys, rooting takes um a couple of couple of minutes. So you should just leave your phone, maybe possibly on charge just while it does that. And if it doesn't work if it hangs on running the exploit, um leave it for about an hour. If it hangs for longer than an hour still running, what you need to do is you're gonna need to um gonna need to turn off your device and um turn it back on and try again. So after completing ginger break we'll give you an error saying it failed to root. It did root, don't worry. Just going to go into your settings and you're going to check that you have a new app. Super user. You can now select super user and you can use all your apps. And you, and this is all the apps it's allowed. Your settings and stuff like that. And your log. So you can now go into the uh, market and download anything. Anything will now work. All, all the things that required root. Will now work. Um, I personally recommend your first thing to download would be ROM Manager. ROM Manager allows you to install custom ROMs, as the name says. At the moment, I'm running Saga LBC mod, which comes pre-rooted. Once you've downloaded it and you flashed a crock at mod recovery, which you can do from Revolutionary if you selected that option, you can download ROMs directly from the app. You can just tap on your one you want, select a version if it loads. And you can just hit download. It'll download and flash it for you. Not you don't even need to do anything. So that is a rooted HTC Desire S. Um, props to the devs over at XDA Developers for de for developing Alpha RevX and then Revolutionary. So go and give them a hit on um, XDA Developers. I'll have a link to that. So um, guys, that was how to root HTC Desire S. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Think.